Hello guys and this is the Russian Genius and in this video I will be teaching you the Herman Pass which is a awesome pass and here is how it looks like. So the Herman Pass is used to control cards but can also be used as a color change. So a six of hearts goes inside the center of the deck and just like that it jumps all the way on top. Let's do it a few more times. So let's say we pick the 10 of clubs That means that the 10 of clubs goes in the center And now the 10 is on top but Let's try to do it as a color change So as a color change it can look something like this And as you can see it changes just like that Let's do it a few more times so that's how the Herman Pass it looks like as a color change. So let's do it once again. So just like that. And it's a great looking pass. It's, it's not too so difficult to do. And this is basically how it looks like. Just like that. So once again, let's say we pick uh, this card, Four of Clubs. For instance, it goes inside the center and now it's on top. So that is how the pass it looks like. And there are a few different covers for the pass which you can do if you want to. So anyways, that is the performance. And let's just move on to the tutorial. So here is how the Herman Pass is done. So the Herman Pass is the opposite from the Classic Pass and let me show you what I mean. So the Herman Pass is a move which looks like this from this angle. So 9 of clubs for instance and to control the 9 of clubs to the top all we have to do is this and right now it is on top of the deck and here's what I did so let's say that we select the Queen of Spades in this case and the Herman Pass from this angle looks like this I'm taking the bottom packet all the way to the top of the deck and then I'm squaring everything up so in speed it looks like this this is the Herman Pass without any cover just like this if I add a cover to this then it looks a little bit more invisible now the classic pass it is where you take the top packet to the bottom instead of the bottom packet to the top because in the Herman pass your fingers are holding the bottom packet and then doing this move and while that is happening then they come all the way on top of the deck now the classic pass is of course much faster to do let me do this right now seven of diamonds inside the center and just like that as you can see it's not on top but if I say boom then it jumps all the way on top of the deck. So here's how you do the Herman Pass. Your pinky is going to go inside the deck and basically you pick a card, five of spades, your pinky goes on top of the five and the rest goes on top of the pinky. So now you're holding a pinky break above the five of spades or the selection and here's what you're going to do now your index finger is really important and I will talk I will say why in a moment but here's what's gonna happen your hand is gonna be holding the top packet just like this as you can see this is quite similar to the other moves but your top hand is holding the deck like this so your pinky is right there like this like this and then like this your index finger is going to be on top of the packet and your fingers needs to be squared up which means no windows so don't spread them out they need to be closed and if they are open then people they will maybe see a little tiny bit of the Herman pass but they won't really understand what is happening but they might notice it if your fingers are a little bit open or retarded you hold it like this your other hand the bottom hand is gonna be doing this so they're going to be taking the packet down 
like this. So the pinky is right here and the pinky is going to be taking the packet down. So my pinky is simply going to go down like this and the other fingers they're making sure that the packet does not fall all the way down on the table or on the floor or wherever you are. Here's what's gonna happen. It's going to bypass, if I'm using the words correctly, bypass the top packet and then you're going to square it up once it's on top. That is the Herman Pass. It may seem a little bit difficult, but actually it's not as difficult as it seems. So let's talk about the index finger and what the index finger is doing. So it's quite important that your index finger always stays in the same position throughout the Herman Pass. For instance, when I'm doing the Herman Pass, then my index finger is always right here on the deck and people they can always see the index finger and when doing the Herman pass then all the other fingers except for the index finger and thumb are not visible and here's what I mean so when doing the Herman pass as you can see you can see the index finger and the thumb you can also see this three fingers but when you are doing the Herman pass right now as you can see you are still able to see the thumb and the index finger also from the front but you cannot see these three fingers. So when doing the Herman Pass, the only two fingers you can see is the index finger and the thumb. So the index finger is important for the Herman Pass. And here's what I mean. Now the idea is that do not move your index finger backwards. Make sure that it stays where it is. Now you are able to move the index finger a little bit to the left side or to the right side you can decide but make sure that it does not go all the way back because when it's on top and when people can see where the index finger it is then it looks like the hands they never move it looks like the hands are always in the same position when the index finger and thumb are in the same places so that's the index finger let me do this from this angle just like this and as you can see once again that the index finger is always in the same exact position. So let's do it once again so you can see it just like that. And the index finger is always on top of the deck. So that's what you should try to do. And also the thumb is important. When doing the Herman Pass, the thumb is always on the side, as you can see. The thumb does not really move. It's always on the side. And you never let go of the thumb. You don't let go. It all It's always on the side. So those are some of the tips that I have for the Herman Pass. It may be a little bit difficult in first, but in the end it will be a lot easier than you actually think. And also there are a few ways of covering the Herman Pass, like my favorite way of covering the Herman Pass looks something like this. So basically what I'm doing is once I finish the Herman Pass, then my hand is rotating so the wrist is going uh, clockwise and it's rotating like this and then I grab it and readjust the position of the hand. If I'm doing this on a table then I will usually do the move and then place it on the table just like this. And uh, sometimes I do do the Herman Pass but most of the time I use the Classic Pass. Now when doing the Herman Pass it's easier to do the Herman Pass if the spectator chooses from the bottom because if they take from the center of the deck then it's still easy to do the Herman Pass but it is a lot easier to do the Herman Pass 
if they select from the bottom of the deck because then you have less cards to take all the way to the top and it can even look more invisible like that but when spectators they pick a card from the center or if they pick a card near the top then I will definitely use the classic pass but if someone chooses from the bottom uh, so just like this then I will most likely say alright you pick the card from the bottom and then I will do the Herman pass to control their selection so anyways guys thank you for watching I really hope that you enjoy my video my tutorial on this move uh, thank you for watching make sure to like and comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video